But I suppose after the way that the team started the game, having got back into it, gone in front, really disappointed not to end up with the three points. Um, yeah, I think we, we, once we got in front, I think um, we back ourselves to maybe hold on and, and win or maybe go on and get another. So, um, yeah, we're disappointed. But so like you said, there's nothing we can do about that now. And um, on another day, I think I think we do go on and get, get another goal, maybe three and, and finish the game off. Very important one, your equaliser. You specialise in those sort of finishes, don't you? I thought, yeah, we um, Parky worked a lot with me in training and them type of areas, and um, yeah, like you say, we, we do work really hard on on like getting in their positions and um, and finishing from that angle. So yeah, I worked a lot in training, and thankfully it's just paying off. And good battling by Tom Davis and Jordan Turnbull. I think set you with a pass, didn't he? Did right on the play, yeah. play. And I'll say to John, I didn't think he was going to pass it to be a <laughs> prize. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think he was going to but um, yeah, it was obviously a good set. Allowed me to wait the first time, which which I needed to do. So yeah, credit to John on that. Yeah. And very important, I suppose, to be on level terms at half time, you know, given how poorly you'd started the game. Yeah, I think that was important. I think um, just to get in at, in at 1 1 and get some momentum because um, I don't think we started the game really well and um, it took us a while to get going. And I think once you see, once we once we got it down and played, I think um, once we made that two or three passes, we we kind of got through there what they what they were trying to do. And um, yeah, to win at 1 1 was, was better. And like you say, I think we started the second half much better as well. Yeah, I mean, and got the reward, and yeah, Kane's in good scoring form at the moment. That was a terrific finish today. Yeah, and it was a good build up. Um, I think Kieran's played one of them. Is it one on the corner? And, um, yeah, he's done well there. To obviously, get the turn, get the finish in, and he's he's scoring goals at the moment. So, um, yeah, they'll make content. Just shows, I think, some turn around, doesn't it? Yeah, you have a long spell, and you, you know what Kane's record is in his career, sort of thing, and, and now he's really on the money. Yeah, it's like you say, just keep him doing what you, what you do day in, day out, and training, and I think the goals eventually, like you say, the common man. It's sticking to what you what you do and um and like you say it'll pay off eventually. As you said, I mean, a two one, I think we we all fall, yeah, you you can go and win this three one more. Yeah, I think like you said, that's a frustrating thing. I think um like we all know that we should really help the game out and and probably went three one or help two one, like you say. So I think obviously all lads are disappointed in there and yeah, we'll feel the poor right next game. So is Ross doing a little or feel as bad as anybody, I'm sure he's holding his hands up in the dressing room. Yeah, he knew, but these he's pulled out with great said before and like you say, it's it's a mistake that anyone can make, but unfortunately, when you're a keeper, it goes in the back of the net. So, um, yeah, we, we're not going to criticise it for for any time he's done. The big flare up as well, and uh, I don't know what the referee saw or didn't see. But were you surprised that perhaps a, a red wasn't shown somewhere? Yeah, I've, but I thought someone had pushed Kieran first, so that's why I was saying off the line from like surely he's seen it. But um, I think he was just a night a lad dive about on the floor, but. Um, yeah, it's nothing you can do. The first doesn't see it, doesn't see it. So, yeah, just call it. Uh, of course, in the end, you know, the, it was a bit like a basketball game when they go back to 2 2, wasn't it? I mean, you know, sides playing they play to their strengths and your time played to yours as well. And I suppose in the end, you know, I put it's not too bad. It's just trying to obviously do come away from what they're trying to do. I think they're trying to be really direct. And um, I don't think, obviously, that's not our game. We try and get it down, but it's trying to counteract what they're doing. And sometimes it is tough and you've got to try and dig in and just do what, do what needs to be done to try and force you into the game to be able to play. I think you've got a bit of a foot on in the game. You, yourself and Q just a bit, and a bit more narrower in midfield and then give a chance for Ethan and, and Josh to get forward a bit more. Yeah, I think we, obviously we needed to get on the second balls in midfield because they were, they were winning it. And um, I think once we came a bit narrower, we started to, to win a few more, started to settle the ball and, and we come narrower allowed to Ethan and Cox to try and get a little bit higher around us, which I thought helped us earlier. Really. But it makes a match. I mean, it, it was quite a decent festive fear with the two wins, you know, but, Crew, you had chances and didn't save them. Today, you could have won, haven't quite in the end. I mean, you, that's why you sort of stay you know, four or five points off the players all the time. Yeah, um, and I think we're obviously we're all really disappointed with the crew game. Um, I think we, we had more than enough chances to to win it comfortable. But like you say, when we when we were um, nil nil first half, we need to be putting chances away and putting teams like that to bed early because, um, like you say, we had, we had more than enough chances to do so. But um, yeah, today is a different one. I think we've we've scored the obviously the two goals, but. Um, like you said, there's nothing you can do. It. Ross has obviously said, hold his hands up, said he's made a mistake, and look, we'll, we'll move on next week. And you score two at home, you expect to win the game. I mean, you know, that, that, that's the way with some of your defensive record this season as well. Yeah, like you say, we, we would expect after scoring two balls to win the game. Um, we rely like on the defence to, to obviously be really good, which they have been. Um, so, yeah, obviously, we, we want to win the game and have that to be here. Yeah. And uh, the question I put to the gaffer before was, you know, you, you're having good 30 minutes, you're having good hours in game. You've, you've got to try and make sure you, you turn in a 90 minute performance, tacking wide on defensively. Yeah, you have to be 100%. Um, it's sometimes it's taken us a while to get in the gear, which it should never be. Um, 
I think it was other Doncaster, I think we were good right the way through the game. Um, it's just trying to get a consistency of just constantly being doing what obviously the game's actually needs to do and I think um hopefully we can we can start doing that. Now, if that's six goals this season for you, I mean yeah, you end up in double figures, that would be a good return from you, is that your end? Um yeah. I, I don't really have an aim at the start of the season but um I like to say I think I say like I'd like back myself to try and get double figures so um yeah, hopefully I can get there and Score more and help the team score more goals as well. Yeah. A room for improvement. I mean, yeah, what do you think you have to work on, perhaps above everything else? Yeah, to do. Um, but everything you do is you check up uh, and after every game what, what you think you could have done better. Um, I think defensively, I think I have came on trying to help Ethan out a lot more. Um, but like you say, it's just, I think, trying to get see what the game last year and just trying to be good at what, 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 it, what, it, what it's actually to do. So, yeah. And they mentioned you want to ones with Parky. I mean, yeah, he's a he's a good guy to learn from, isn't he? Yeah, it's brilliant. It's every day I'm learning nothing. Not um, mostly on Thursdays. I think we think we we kind of go to one side and do different stuff. Um, I ask him what what he thinks I need to be, what I need to improve on, and um, attacking wise, which areas I'm getting into. Um, I do a lot with the stat people to try and find out which areas I'm which areas I'm getting shot away from. So it's just working in them areas and trying to get repetition. Yeah.